I'm creating a series about how to submit to your husband. So if you haven't watched episode one and two, make sure after you get done with this video that you go back and watch those two videos. This video is for a Christian woman that's interested in learning how to submit to her husband. In this video, I'm going to share three important tips with you. So make sure you stay tuned and watch the full video. Think before you speak. Don't rush to speak. I'm trying to learn when my husband and I are having a conversation, especially if it's something that I don't agree with, not to rush to speak, to think about it first, to make sure if I decide to say it, to say it in the right way. For some reason, it's like when my husband and I are talking, I have a habit of wanting to say what I need to say. And I think it have a lot to do with it too. I'm afraid that I'm going to forget what I need to say. So I want to make sure that I get my point across. But I am learning that it's more important for me to wait, not to rush, and to watch my tone first. I am learning, even if it's true, you want to make sure it's at the right time. And is it appropriate to say? For example, a couple months ago, my husband seen the house that we are living in now. And at that time, we were renting and we had bad credit and also low income. So. My husband and I, we were on our way to church and he seen this house and it was a for sale sign out in front of it. We've always admired this house, but it wasn't available. So while we were getting ready to pass the house, my husband decided that he was going to call and check on the house to see how much it cost. And I remember thinking when he told me what he was going to do, how that that don't make sense because we don't have good credit and our income is low. And I'm just so glad that I didn't say anything and something spoke to me and told me, don't say anything, just let him do it. And I'm glad I did because if I would have said something, it could have discouraged him and he may not even have called and checked on the house and we wouldn't be living in this house right now. So I have learned that it is good to not to say everything that comes to your mind, even if it's true. Ephesians 4 and 29 says, let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those that hear them. So you want to make sure that whatever it is that you want to say, that is something encouraging, because if it's something that's that's discouraging, even if it's true, you may not need to say it because you can mess up things. Before you get ready to say it, stop and ask yourself this question. Will it build him up? James 1 and 19 says, you must all be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. So one of the best things that you can start doing is practice being quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to getting angry. Tip number two, is it the right time or appropriate? It's an old saying, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. So I have learned that even though if it's true, sometimes it's not appropriate for that moment and it's just good to be quiet. Tip number three, speak with grace. Colossians 4 and 5 says, let your speech always be with grace as though seasoned with salt so that you will know how you should respond to each person. We need to season our words. Think about what you're going to say before you say it. You want to make sure you say the right words and also you use the right tone. A lot of times it's not about what you say. It's more to do with how you say it. I don't want to talk to my husband and he don't receive what I say because it's more like it's a waste of time. So it's better to say it in a right way. 
say it at the right time. Because if he's not going to receive it, what's the purpose? Food for thought. We all make mistakes and sometimes say the wrong thing that we shouldn't say. And when it does happen, apologize. Be the bigger person and make peace in your home. And just try not to say the wrong things often. Try to practice thinking before you speak. Put yourself in your spouse's shoes. Would you receive it from your spouse if he spoke to you or said the same as I things to you? We would get along so much better with our spouses and also other people if we just practice treating them the way that we want to be treated. Speaking to them the way that we want to be spoken to. I have a question for you. Do you ever think about how the way that you communicate with your husband? Do you have an issue with saying the wrong things to your husband? If so, leave a comment. If you like my message and you want to support me, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you will be notified. I have two Facebook groups. One is called Chats with Flow and it's for women. And in that group, we talk about self-development. I have another Facebook group that I just started and it's for Christian wives. The name of it is Wife After His Heart. If you are a woman and if you are married, I would love it if you come and join my Facebook group. Make sure you stay tuned for the next upload of How to Submit to Your Husband.